Hi, my name is Larry Adams, and this is a short look into the different aspects of my life. I will break down what I actually do for a living and how I got there. Life wouldn't be fun if it were all work, so I will show you a few things that help me unwind my off time. We all have something that sets us apart, helps identify us, and I will reveal what that is for me. So here's where my story begins. My story started back in 1996 in high school when my dad convinced me to enroll in Navy Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps. After my three years of exposure in school to the military way of life, I decided to make the military a career, although I chose the Air Force over the Navy. My first duty position was working as a periodic maintenance technician in Wyoming and responsible for the maintenance of the nation's intercontinental ballistic missiles which ensure the safety of the United States. In 2005, I switched gears and retrained into the communications career field. I worked for three years in Georgia while training on comm equipment that was capable of setting up anywhere in the world at a moment's notice. That job still wasn't right for me, so I volunteered to go to Iraq where I had my first exposure to fixed communications. I enjoyed that job so much that I put in for a remote assignment to Korea just to change jobs which was quickly granted. The next year was spent in Korea doing what I enjoyed so far, installing and, tele and troubleshooting telephones. Then in 2009, the big communications career field merger happened. I was now responsible for computer maintenance in addition to some of the telephone maintenance from before. I spent the following three years in Okinawa, Japan doing a wide range of, of jobs from tech support to Blackberries and cell phones to telephone billing and finally to project planning for the base level comm install and upgrades. Those three years went by fairly fast and now I'm stationed here in Illinois and in charge of a computer maintenance work center. I also have quite the collection of hobbies these days. While some of my hobbies are now retired like skydiving and storm chasing, many more have transpired over the years. Every time I move to a new location, I seem to pick up new hobbies. In Wyoming, for example, storm chasing was my primary hobby. Georgia brought skydiving and bowling into play, whereas Korea began my desire to learn the Korean language for traveling and for racquetball. The urge to travel to many places that I had never visited before followed me into Japan. I picked up snorkeling while on the island, and also the passion to learn the Japanese language as well. Finally, here in Illinois, I have taken up soccer and archery, mainly because I plan to start teaching my three-year-old this year. All in all, photography has been my longest-running hobby, which I have had at each place I have moved to, in addition to the others. And if you were to ask any of my friends to tell you something unusual about me, they would probably tell you that I am the whitest Korean that they know. While I have no Asian blood in my family heritage, I fell in love with Asia when I moved to Korea and experienced the cultural differences than that of the Western cultures. I quickly came to enjoy the food like no other I had had before. Quite frankly, I've actually lost my appetite for the foods that I used to eat prior to living there. There were many more wonderful, scenic, and historic places to visit. Throughout the year that I lived there, I visited many of the sites, palaces, and ruins, and yet there are still many more that I wish to see. I have visited several times since I've left, and each, each visit is just as enjoyable as the last. I have been studying the Korean language now for four years in addition to the Japanese language. Korea is also where I met and married my gorgeous wife. We moved to Japan shortly after we were married and we had our first son there and now we are expecting our daughter this summer. We are very excited. So there you have it. My 14 years in the military so far with all the various positions that I have held. It's pretty clear that I have no problem finding ways to enjoy my time away from work and school. Finally, I revealed something unusual about me and my passion for Korea. I hope you enjoyed my introduction. Thank you.